hello guys i am trying at the end of this video i will be telling you guys that how you can download msi afterburner and how you can set up your msi afterburner overlay and get all the uh, on-screen display like gpu usage gpu uh, temperature cpu temperature cpu usage and ram usage fps all of that things so let's get started so first thing you need to do is download msi afterburner so i've given the link down below in the description to download msi afterburner you need to first uh, go to this link i've given the link in the description or you can simply uh, google msi afterburner download and then when you're on this page you need to scroll up down here and click uh, this download button for pc to download it and here as you can see your download start i've downloaded it already so I don't need to download it again. So you guys now need to install MSI Afterburner in the PC. Now when you install MSI Afterburner, it will look something like this when you open it. You need to install MSI Afterburner alongside with Reaver Tuna statistics software. So when you open MSI Afterburner, this so software should also install uh, Reaver Tuna statistics server. So you need to click on this gear icon and just head over to monitoring and now you can and now you can just set your uh, whatever you want to monitor such as GPU temperature you need to just check mark it if it's unchecked just check mark it and it will say in OSD and then you need to override group name and uh, you need to check mark show in on screen display and override group name and i have named it as gpu temp uh, my gpu is gt1030 you may uh, set it to anything for example you may set it to gt1030 temp but i like this uh, gpu temp better save the gpu usage and then uh, you can also set the cpu usage here as you can see my CPU is i53470S. So I think the file i53470S usage, but I like CPU usage better. So I'm just going to use this one. And then you can also uh, manage and monitor the usage for all the CPUs, but as an average, you can just use this, which is a lot simpler and looks better on the screen display. And then you can also do the same with the RAM and FPS so this is for monitoring and now for the, I will show you the my, uh, the uh, settings which I use for for uh, recording now many of you guys wanted to see my MSI after bundle settings that how I get good FPS even while recording so here's my settings I've set the vi video capture button to F12 and uh, the quality I said is 85% this doesn't drop the FPS too much and keeps good quality and the full frame I've kept it at full frame and my frame rate um, I mean my video is recorded at 30 FPS so which is better I think instead of 60 FPS because 60 FPS video drops a lot of FPS and I have uh, frame rate limit I have disabled it so that when I'm in game my, uh, my games can get up to unlimited FPS and guys make sure you don't uh, enable gamma correction because it makes the video very bright now in some games you might have to use this because some games are very dark and if you, if you want your video to look some uh, little uh, if you want your video to look bright then enable it otherwise it's fine and these are my settings that's it I use this uh, let's see from the top I use F12 for video capture and my capture mode is mixed. My video format is MJPG compression in the format of AVI and 85% video quality, full frame, frame rate 30 FPS. So that's it, guys. That's my settings. Now, now you have to come here in Revert uh, to uh, to a statistics server. And here you can just set your font size and everything. I uh, I like using this gesture 3D. This is how your statistic will look on the screen. So 
I use this font and this size you can also change its color and everything and use other uh, other rendering modes such as vector 2d and vector 3d but I like this one better so that is it guys I hope you like the video and if you guys want to see a video on how to overclock your GPU safely with MSI Afterburner comment down below I will uh, tell you guys in the next video if you want it now guys let's see how the display looks in game so I'm going to play Modern of F3 so as you guys can see the display looks very good and clean so guys as you can see the game is running very good and the statistics are looking very good so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one